Let's use a graph to find each of the following. We're applicable, we'll use the interval notation. Okay, so A. It's asking us for the domain. Now, domain is your x values where your graph exists. See how this is going down, and disappears to stop? It doesn't, it keeps going forever. And this is going down, appears to stop, but it keeps going forever. Now, as this is going down, uh, it's slowly going to the left. It'll keep slowly going to the left, keep slowly going to the left forever. As this is going down, it's slowly going to the right. So it'll keep as it keeps going down, it'll slowly go to the right forever. So our domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. Now our range. Our range is our y values where our graph exists. Well, this goes down forever, so it's going to negative infinity. Now our highest point on our graph is this right here. So if I come straight over, that looks mm, maybe 6.2. I'm just guessing. Now put a bracket on that. Um, anytime you have numbers, you put brackets unless there's an open dot. C asks us for our x-intercepts. That's where it touches or crosses the x-axis. Looks like negative 5.7, negative 5.8, 1.5. You can write those in point form if you want. I'm just going to write them that way. And 5.7, 5.8, say 5.7. Now D is our y-intercept. That's where it touches or crosses the y-axis. Looks like negative 4.4. E, interval in which the graph is increasing, decreasing, constant. Well, see how it's increasing here initially? So it's increasing from negative infinity. And it's increasing, increasing, and here it stops increasing and it starts decreasing. Well, the x value right here is um, negative 5.7. And then we said it starts decreasing. So it decreases from negative 5.7. So it's decreasing, decreasing, reaches this point, and it starts increasing. So if I go straight up from there, I don't know, negative 1.6, negative 1.7. It's kind of a guesstimate. Remember, we only use x values on increasing, decreasing, constant. So it's increasing, keeps increasing, and then here it starts decreasing. So uh, and that goes straight down from here. It looks like x equals 4. And then we said it starts decreasing. And it decreases from then on, so that's 4 to positive infinity. <clears throat> now F is our relative extrema, which is where a graph changes from increasing to decreasing, or decreasing to increasing. Well, here it's increasing, changes to decreasing, so that's going to be a relative max. So I have relative max at negative 5.7, 0. You write this in point form. Then it's decreasing, decreasing, which is this point, and it starts increasing. So this is going to be a relative min. And it um, looks like um, if I went straight up, negative 1.6. And the y value would be, it looks like negative 6. Again, I'm just writing down, writing down the point. Then it's increasing, increasing, hits this point, and it starts decreasing. So that's a relative max. And that'll occur at 5.7. Uh, I'm lying to you. Where'd I get that at? I think I thought this x intercept, but that's not necessarily uh, where it occurs. Okay, let me try it again. Go straight down, looks like 4. Straight over, looks like 6.2, maybe? Like that. Now, G. We want to find f of 1. Now remember, whatever's inside the parentheses is your x. So they're telling us x is equal to 1. And we're trying to find out what the y value is. So we're looking for a point on our graph that starts with 1 and has some kind of y value. Well, here's x equals 1. If I go down, maybe about right here, it looks like the y value may be negative uh, 1.8. And all they're wanting here is they're wanting a y value. So negative 1.8 is the answer to that part. Uh, H. This is another estimate. It says the values of x for which f of x is equal to negative 6. Again, whatever's inside your parentheses here is your x. So x we don't know. And this side will be your y. So they're telling us y is equal to negative 6. So I'm looking for a point on my graph, maybe even more than one. 
where x can be whatever and y is negative 6. And uh, this is in the way. Let's move that up there, I guess. There we go. Okay, here's y is equal to negative 6. If I go over to here, it looks like here's y is equal a point with y is equal to negative 6. If I go up, it looks like negative negative 7.4, just guessing. Negative 7.4. Now this one looks like uh, negative 6 also. If I go up, it's negative 1.4. And over here is negative 6. And if I go up, it looks like 6.2. Depend upon who you ask, you'll get different answers in that particular part. And I, is the graph even, odd, or neither? Well, it's not even, because if I flip this part across the y-axis, there's nothing for it to land on here. It's definitely not odd, so it's neither. It's not symmetric to the y-axis, not symmetric to the origin, so that's why it's neither. And those are our answers.